So this is going to be an insanely deep dive into your filmography for my first question. Uh, it is a role I think of often and a show that I recommend to people all the time. But what was it like filming Frankenstein's Wedding live in Leeds? Wow, Maggie, you've <laughs> gone deep. <laughs> uh, that was that was incredible. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I was I was a year out of drama school. Um, it was live. We'd um, we'd rehearsed once with the band. I had to sing live. I had to dance live. I had to get married live. Um, it was in Leeds. We had a live audience of twelve thousand people. So, it, as as a baptism baptism of fire for somebody who just left drama school, it's the thing that I constantly remind myself, saying, "If I can do that, I can do anything." <laughs> yeah. Well, you really did well. It was I watched it when it first aired all those years oh. ago, and it was such a fantastic performance. More shows should uh, perform in crumbling abbeys. <laughs> you know what? I couldn't. I couldn't agree more. I think yeah, the BBC was so, it was so brave doing that project, and um, it was yeah, it was a, a unique project, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Jumping into Carnival Row, I'm so sad that it's ending, but glad that things got to wrap up. Did your approach to Ezra change at all between the seasons? Definitely. Yeah, definitely did. Um, season one for me was almost, I, I had this etiquette book. So I had like a, a Victorian etiquette book from uh, like the 1800s, which was an original book written by a Victorian gentleman of how to live to society. And I did, that was my Bible for the whole, whole of the season. That was, that was it. Um, that Bible in season two went completely out of the window having read the scripts because basically, you know, you think how your character is going to be tested. And then Eric Olson tested my character in, in ways that was unexpected for the audience. It would be so unexpected. And for me, as the first time I read it, it was, it was so unexpected. So I think, yeah, season two, the challenge was kind of dealing with, even though Ezra is a, an anti-hero, de dealing with him as, as the hero of his own piece and why he needs his sister so much back in his life, how he's going to do it. And, and I guess when he's put in these scenarios, what parts of Ezra he uses. And that was, you know, not to spoil any, anything, but that definitely the animalistic side of Ezra as a human def definitely comes out in, in season two. Definitely. I, I know I was rooting for him to maybe like have a turn, which, you know, <laughs> things that I was hoping I was hoping. Um, but where yeah. do you think he reached that point of like, there was no return for him? Like he was determined that he was going to get his sister back into his life. I mean, there's, there's definitely, so there's definitely a point in season two where there's a point of no return. Um, I th and it's so interesting because the Burgish society is, as you see, um, a lot of it is, is based on the Victorian society. It's all about reputation. And the, there's there's two big points at the beginning of season season two where things kind of, pardon the pun, but stab him and in the back and make him feel like his name is disgraced and there's no way back for them. Um, so there's but the, but there's definitely a point. I think it's episode three for Ezra where I, I think that's where he he reaches a a point of himself that he he i don't think he he ever thought was capable of um but then it's interesting to then see how that he deals with that going going forward um because i think he covers it again quite well um or tries to in his own way what was the most difficult film to see to, to uh, film for the season i think I, I mean night shoots are always interesting to shoot because you're deal you know you're dealing with um a different sort of spider sense of of like big big emotional scenes to shoot at night time are always quite difficult especially when it's winter in prague it gets very cold um so a couple of those scenes out on the back lot were quite were quite challenging um in the in in the night time but you know again because we're surrounded by such geniuses on set such like artistic geniuses from makeup hair um the actors that I got to work with, it it was it was all joyous, but those were those were the ones that stick out just for the temperature. I did want to ask about another project that you're working on. I think you just wrapped on the Winter King, yes, uh, which is based on such a phenomenal book uh, series. Mm -hmm. But how would you compare your role in that to some of your previous roles? Oh, 
the winter king uh again just totally different totally different context it's medieval it's a retelling of the legend of arthur um and again you know i just get to the joy when i when i am offered things or when scripts come into my inbox i'm always looking for something i haven't played because that's i don't want to play the same thing i don't want to play the same time period and i'm just l- lucky that um those franchise of books they they've offered me a character sansom who i play that that goes on a, a you know a, a mad journey in in his own way but in in a totally different way so it's um yeah just lucky to land another character that i can hopefully bring life to on the screen it was fun i just interviewed ed delirious yesterday for you and i watched the oh. screeners of you and i saw you pop up in that and i was yeah. like oh i have to ask what was it like getting to join that franchise for a little bit do you know what it, it, it is the first modern job i've done for a long time with my own with my own hair and my own um beard and um i got to wear modern clothing uh, but great incredible to incredible to work with um with the cast there and and shooting in london which i know is a big thing for you filming in london because it's it's you know that's a first so it was nice to uh yeah to meet the to meet the cast and such a popular show and can't wait for can't wait to see it myself because i haven't seen any of it so it'll be fantastic to see well there you go well thank you so much for your time today andrew i really appreciate it pleasure maggie thank you so so much